Hello, this is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com and PL Combs Asian Antiques who are located in Gloucester, Massachusetts. And as most of you know, we run the Bitamount site, which promotes uh, honest sellers on eBay who handle predominantly Chinese and Asian works of art. But we also, uh, as a result of this, end up seeing an awful lot of material that goes through eBay, and we've become aware, keenly aware, of a new scam that's been going on. And uh, if you're a buyer out there on the site, or a seller, you want to be made very aware of this. Um, uh, and it's also a cautionary tale about one of the big reasons why you don't circumvent eBay, uh, usually out of greed, to get a better deal. You think you're getting ahead of the system. And this has to do with uh, an item that we had seen. I'm going to bring it up here. These. An antique pair of Chinese porcelain modeled elephants with large, rare, large and rare. Uh, these are large and rare. These are a pair of Qinlung Chinese export, uh, uh, very finely done uh, elephants. Most of these uh, are quite large. And uh, we saw this, and we saw this listing, and immediately we realized we'd seen this listing before. We had seen these elephants up here about six or eight months ago. And I don't remember what they sold for, but I remembered the pictures. So I looked at the listing. I said, this is curious. Uh, it's being sold by somebody with zero feedback. I thought initially, well, maybe the fellow with zero feedback here bought them, doesn't want them, or he needs to get his money back, so he's going to try selling them. And when I went down and looked at the listing itself, I began to get very suspicious. First, there are no dimensions, no dimensions in the listings at all, no condition report, no nothing, just the, head, the headline at the top of the page. I looked at the listing, it says the payment's accepted, PayPal, Visa, Ma MasterCard, American Express, Discovery, right there, all looks very legitimate. But I knew something was wrong, so I sent the guy an email. I said, gee, how big are your elephants? What are the dimensions? You seem to have forgotten them. The other big tip off here is that there are only two photographs. Um, okay, maybe because he, you know, he's just opened his eBay account and he doesn't understand, but, but you always include more than two photographs in a listing, especially of expensive things that might bring, be worth twenty or thirty thousand, forty thousand dollars I never heard from the man. I sent him an email, never heard from him. And I suspect he got a lot of emails on these from people saying, hey, what condition are they in? How tall are they? Um, you know, probably, probably several dozen emails, all right, because there's so, so little information, you can't bid on them. You know, people are going to ask how they restored. So well, how, what does that do? Well, it does is it gives the guy the names or the, or the contact information for a lot of eBay buyers who are interested in his elephants, okay? He has no intention of selling them here because he doesn't have them. So how's he going to rip you off? Well, this is how he's going to rip you off. He's going to pull these listings after once after he gets a bunch of requests for the item and before the end of the period. And he's going to send you this email. Hi, my modeled elephants and vases are not on eBay anymore, but are still available for sale. My usual schedule has been changed. I had to go to Spain to take care of some business, and that's why I ended my auction. And then he says, I've set a price of $1,500, which is, all of you know, is dirt cheap for these. And he's uh, uh, given me the dimensions, 13 and a half inches tall. These are big. That's over a foot. Good Lord, these are worth a lot of money, I'm thinking. He's a real crook. Thanks, Jeremy. So I apologize for being slow on, on responding. So I played along with him, and he said, uh, I asked him for more pictures. He sent them. And if you're interested, I want to make the transaction through Skrill. Now, Skrill is a, a payment system in Europe. Um, it's also been known under the name of MoneyBooker. And what you can do is you can make you can open an account with Skrill. You have to do business on that site, this account. You have to have an account there. This comes into play later in this this whole saga. And what you do is you basically agree to buy something from a buyer. You put your money in Skrill. They do escrow the money for you. Once you get your item and you're happy with it, they release the money. Okay, But a lot of Americans and guys in China are very unfamiliar with this payment system. They've never heard of it. As he explains in the letter here, you'll have 14 days to examine them. And um, once you're satisfied and happy, tell Skrill to pay me. Boy, that sounds like a pretty good deal. What, what can go wrong with that? All right. Um, he's asked me for my name and my full shipping address, and I will open a Skrill. Here's the key. I will open an escrow case with Skrill, and they will give you step-by-step -step details how to proceed with the deal and make the payment. 
So that sounds pretty reasonable. Um, and then I, he, I asked him if he had stands and things that he responded. Um, and then he says, I asked him also, why can't I pay through PayPal? Unfortunately, I don't have a PayPal account. And I also don't have a bank account here in Spain to make one. Any money here to make one. Anyway, Skrill is a legitimate international escrow company accepted as payment option by eBay, so I see no reason for not using them. I used them before and was satisfied. Also, as the seller um, will open the escrow case, you don't have to be registered with them to complete this deal. Well, actually, under Skrill's rules, you do have to have an account there. And what he's going to do is he's going to send me the equivalent of a phishing email. All right. Once he sends the phishing email, see, here's, here's a look quickly at his, uh, his listing on eBay. He just said he doesn't have PayPal. Well, there's PayPal right there. He does have PayPal. All right. And PayPal is accessible, as you know, from anywhere in the world. If he's in Spain, he can still access his PayPal account. So um, you know right away there's something very wrong here. And um, he sent me uh, um, this little follow-up. I, I said, well, gee, I'm a little concerned about that. Well, I've used them before and was satisfied. Also, as the seller, you, uh, as the seller, we will, I will open the escrow case so you don't have to be registered. All right. And what happens is he sends you a phishing email. You make the payment, and uh, it goes through, and uh, he gets your money. It's never escrowed. You never hear from him again, and he takes you 1500 bucks. Now, this has been going on on eBay with a number of things. A friend of mine, a seller in New Hampshire, just recently, uh, I came across one of his listings that had been reused. I came across another seller's uh, items, a seller in Canada that we know. Their items were being reused. Um, and it's a real problem. And eBay is aware of it. And we reported this fellow and immediately got him booted off the site. All right, but just as a heads up, if you meet anybody that wants to use an oddball uh, payment method after yanking a listing and then, and then comes up with a story like this, run for your life, okay? And if you want to visit and uh, read the whole story and get more on it, visit our website, bitamount.com. It's in the blogs, just in the upper corner here. Type in scam in, in the blog area, and this, this will come up for you as will some other, other scams we've come across. But uh, be very careful out there, and don't circumvent eBay with, with some cockamamie idea to make a lot of money. The hook here is obviously that the, the, the two elephants were worth much, much more than what he was selling them for. And uh, greed could get you in a lot of trouble, all right? Uh, the man has since disappeared off the site, I think. His uh, uh, account probably is suspended or blocked or under investigation. And uh, so be careful out there. Thanks so much. And... Uh, Thanks again for taking the time to listen. Have a great day. Goodbye to you all. Bye-bye.